Hey, what's going on everybody? Monty here. I finally got my camera back, uh, the A6600. I was stuck at Precision Camera for about two weeks, um, so not too bad. I was hoping it would be turned around a lot quicker than that, but it's okay. Um, got my camera back, now I can actually uh, make videos again, so kind of missed out. I did see a lot of comments here on my channel um, asking me to do all kinds of different kinds of videos for you guys. You guys were wanting to know, um, you know answers. Uh, all kinds of things. Anyways, so now that I got my camera back, it is finally here. Um, it is a A6600. Um, I was having problems with the lenses. Uh, you could see there, I had posted a video that I did record with my iPhone. Um, you could see that exactly, the, the issues I was having with it, but it's all fixed now, so that's all that matters. Didn't cost me anything. Still sucks, uh, crappy experience buying from a, a, a retailer other than Adorama or B&H Photo or Amazon. But, you know, you live and learn. So, uh, anyways, got my camera back, so now I'm just back at it. I have been keeping up with the news as far as the NVIDIA 3000 series um, as well. Um, I did see that. I'm probably looking at a 3080, but I'll probably wait because I'm pretty sure the 3080 Ti is going to be dropping sometime. Um, they did um, see a leak about Lenovo with a 3070 Ti, so... 3080 Ti is probably what I'll get. I'm definitely going to wait for the benchmark. So um, I still have a 2080 Ti here. And as you guys saw, that runs pretty much all the games that I play. You know, 80, 100, 120 frames per second. So while having another graphics card is a lot better, more performance. So I can crank up all the graphics to ultra, ultra. Um, with like shadows and all that, that'll be nice. As well as like uh, any games that come out with DLSS. I think WoW, uh, World of Warcraft Shadowlands is coming out with that. Um, so that might be something um, that might be something good with the 3000. I'm not bashing a 3000 series in no way. Um, it's just I want to wait for the benchmarks to come out. I know they keep talking about RTX, and I, I don't want to see the benchmarks with the RTX because I'm using a 2080 Ti, and I don't think I use any RTX features on it at all because um, this is just a 1440p monitor. It's not 4K. Um, I just use the G-Sync on it, and that's pretty much all, and I probably don't even need that. But um, G-Sync monitor, G-Sync uh, graphics card, but... Anyways, uh, $3090, $1,500 um, for me, um, for my setup, it's probably not worth it. Um, just because the amount of uh, difference probably from a 3080 or a 3080 Ti to a 3090, I don't really feel like it's worth it. I don't feel the performance is going to be that big from a 3080 uh, or a 3080 Ti to a 3090, uh, which is why I'm pretty much going to wait it out. Um, I'm in no rush really to upgrade. I've had this card since launch, and realistically, it plays all the games that I play on it just fine anyways. Um, so I'm still going to upgrade because PC Master Race, but um, I'm going to wait for the benchmarks first. Uh, I'm not going to assume that... Uh, uh, what NVIDIA shows out there is just the, the what's going to happen. I'm sure it's a lot better. Uh, they did say the die size of the, the GPU is a lot bigger. So, I mean, with that, with all the uh, the specs are obviously increased, uh, the CUDA cores and whatnot. So it's going to be a lot faster. Um, and I do understand that. But um, uh, with my 2080 Ti, good enough for right now um, until, like I said, it's... Um, ready to upgrade right another month or two or, or whatever um this is kind of a crazy month it's because it's iphone month and um so i might wait to upgrade my graphics card it just really depends uh, or i might just wait to upgrade my phone because i do have a um, iphone 11 pro that i have on at&t next so i do have the at&t next every year i won't upgrade that but anyways um graphics card um, those 3090s are coming out, 3080s are coming out, 3070s, I believe. They didn't say anything about TI that I saw that was coming out. But as you guys know, a TI um, is something that they will be coming out with. It's just their branding. Um, kind of, I don't know so much about the Supers, but the TI is kind of just like the like the, 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 the high-performance uh, version of that model card. Um, so I think a 3080 TI will be coming out. Don't know when, don't know what the cost is. Probably going to be maybe $1,000. It's going to be cheaper than a 3090. Um, shoot, it might just be the same price as what I paid for this card. $1,000 for the Black Edition with EVGA. Um, but uh, speed and everything, from what I'm saying, it looks good. But anyways, off topic. Um, I'm back now, so I can make uh, make these videos again. Uh, some requests to make some, um, some game videos and whatnot as well. Um, if I do go to a 3080, I will have to look at... Uh, or 3080 Ti, we'll have to look at upgrading the um, the Kraken. I don't know if that'll be supported or not. I don't know exactly with that die, with it being bigger. 
is this cooler going to fit on it or will I have to use or, or will there be some kind of special AIO cooler that comes out that where the water block is big enough at the end really hard to say um, but that's kind of what we'll be looking at so um, probably in the next month whenever like I said whenever it comes out depending on the speed um, from what I'm saying 3080 is probably at least 1. times 1.5 times faster uh, than the 2080 Ti, I'll probably be getting, I'll be getting something. Um, 3080 or 3080 Ti, I'm going to get one of them. Uh, I just don't know when the 3080 Ti will drop. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, computer, everything's still working fine. Um, haven't had any problems. I did have uh, some issues that I probably covered in recent video where I was having a lot of stuttering. And I did fix that by... Reinstalling Windows, um, reinstalling to the latest. Went on Windows website or Microsoft's website, downloaded the latest version of Windows, installed it on my flash drive, and then I just redid it. Redid all my graphics, uh, or redid all my um, uh, drivers. I redid my graphics drivers. Um, made sure to use a display driver on installer on that as well, um, and updated my BIOS to the latest also. So I haven't had any problems with the computer whatsoever. Um, I did see some people have different kinds of speeds or different kind of benchmarks related to their 10900K. So as you guys know, all chips are going to be made. They're going to be slightly variations uh, of each chip. So you might be able to get a little bit more higher score on, on, on whatnot. So um, on my motherboard, I don't have uh, the, uh, the Asus uh, multi-core enhancement on. And also I have negative AVX too. Um, so that's why my... Um, my uh, benchmark for Cinebench and whatnot could be a little bit different than most people's. Um, I could probably turn that off and, and run it, but I kind of just got the computer where I want it to be stable. I don't want to have to mess, really mess with it as far as like, uh, you know, figuring out, um, you know, always tweaking with it, always messing with it. I just kind of want to set it and forget it, right? So set the performance I want and even at 5 gigahertz gaming that's still good enough and 5.2 it bounces around um, so yeah I mean with the with the 3440 by 1440 it's all running great it's probably the best monitor I've ever bought um, out of out of that um, it is better than the uh, 279q I, I believe in my in, in every way um, probably because it's ultra wide though uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm back. I do appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you guys have all those uh, comments and questions for me, I like answering them. I'm pretty prompt about it as well. Uh, I do have a Discord channel, just like a basic one that I made. So I'll put the link to the channel in the description below. So if you guys do want to join that, uh, if you guys have any questions about the build, do you have any questions just me personally, um, you can go ahead and ask them uh, in, the, in the comments down below or in the Discord channel as well. Um, so I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, it says to get to a thousand subscribers, you become a, a YouTube partner. So I'd like to try and reach that. I believe with the with the community, with what I'm sharing, I could easily hit that thousand. So I'm really only about six, less than uh, probably five something, five hundred. I don't know, five hundred and sixty subscribers away. Um, actually, no, I'll take it back, six hundred and sixty subscribers away. So, anyways, I'd like to hit that. Um, and like I said, uh, I'm trying to bring quality content to you guys, uh, as well as uh, show you guys, uh, show you guys uh, set up and show you guys what you can approve. I did buy some RGB uh, strips as well, and I was gonna make a video. You guys can let me know if you want me to make a video on this. I thought this was pretty interesting. This is a LED strip kit that I bought on Amazon, and I did it right, right whenever I got my camera. I was getting everything ready, and the camera started messing up. Um, so I wasn't able to make make this video I was wanting to make. But anyways, I got this on Amazon. Let's see if I can get you to focus. I got this on Amazon. It's an LED strip. It plugs into your uh, RGB headers on the motherboard. Um, so like I have Asus RS Sync. So it would just plug into that. And I got all these wires so I can show you. All right, so these are also magnetic as well. Uh, so as you can see here, connections one to another. Let me get this popped out. Okay. All right. So you get two strips. One, they're about, I don't know, foot, maybe 18. I think they're 18 inches long is what they are. Uh, anyways, they're magnetic. Uh, they're thick. They're durable. 
Um, but this was like this was like fifteen dollars, I think, on Amazon. Um, but it's to add RGB to your case. That's like really like stupid easy, right? So um, I'll probably just make a quick video on this on how to do this. Um, like I said, really cheap RGB, and what's cool about it is it matches up with the app that I have on the computer, um, which is the, let me pull it up. All right, so it's with, uh, believe it or not, it's actually with the Armory Crate. Um, it's an Asus app that you can download, but yeah, you control the, uh, what's called the addressable header on the motherboard. Um, you control it, so that would be controlling these lights. You can make a pulse, you can make it do whatever you want, whatever color you want. Uh, and that also controls my memory, believe it or not, as well, which I didn't really know how you could control it. I didn't spend a whole lot of time thinking about it. It was I Since I have the G-Skill, it's a different vendor, different manufacturer, so I didn't think really that they would more so be compatible, but it does work. Um, obviously, the quality of the LEDs, I mean, these LEDs look fine, but... Um, color wise it seems like there's a little bit of color shift in between like the uh, um, the RGB that's built in on the motherboard and then the RGB that's built in to the RAM as well as these uh, it's, it's so small um, most probably wouldn't notice it I mean I barely noticed it as well but um, this like I said these these were only like 15 bucks so um, really cool to add like I said RGB to your case um, so I'll probably do something I'll probably do something separate on that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, like I said, guys, um, I'm back. And, uh, yeah, it feels nice to be making something again. Um, a lot of people have questions about, uh, like, my AT&T Fiber. I'm getting a lot of that as well. Um, and I, I think I said in a previous video, I was speaking with an AT&T technician outside of my house. He was next door neighbors um, installing fiber. And they did say that he thinks that uh, they're planning on um, expanding the fiber to... Uh, I believe two or 2.5 gigabit ethernet and five gigabit, um, sorry, five gigabit fiber and two and a half gig fiber. Um, and they would just have to upgrade the modem um, that we have here in our house, as well as something on the back, uh, you know, some kind of uh, switch or uh, some kind of device on their back end um, on server side, more or less. So um, that's something, uh, something to keep an eye on probably next year, but um, yeah, no, it's exciting. Lots, lots of stuff going on. New graphics card coming out. Um, I already got the 10900K, so that's kind of already passed. Um, yeah, new iPhones this month. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and start working on a couple more videos I got planned. Um, probably be another week or so. I'm getting used to this Adobe Premiere um, on the computer. I was having problems with it before. Um, but I was able to download another trial and try it out and I just kind of learned learn it as I'm going um, So it looks like I have to create proxies in order to edit um, The 4k on the computer believe it or not um, even with the 10900k um, But it renders like stupid fast with the graphics card. I guess what there's the new update they have um, So I'm playing around with that. So that's uh, something new to me um, I'm not really uh, I'm not really an expert on the camera gear, on the microphone, on any of that stuff. I do got a nice little setup here, um, but as far as like, uh, you know, RGB, you know, vlogger setup, I'm not going to probably have any of that. Um, but uh, yeah, just kind of want to show you guys um, gaming wise. Like I said, I do plan on getting the 3080, 3080 Ti, one of the two. I mean, even a 3080 is still an upgrade over the 2080 Ti as far as performance is what I'm seeing on that that um, that Doom Eternal on the GeForce, I'll drop a link in the comments um, to so you guys could check that out. Um, that uh, is just crazy, like 70, 80 percent more performance. Like that is just mind blowing. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Um, comment down below if you have any questions, um, any kind of uh, video requests that you'd like me to make. Um, if you have any comments for me? Um, and I'll go ahead and link the Discord channel down in the description box below. You can join that Discord and ask me any kind of questions anytime you'd like. I'm usually pretty quick about responding um, to the comments and on Discord and on YouTube. So leave them down there for me. I hope you guys like the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.